Okay, I think we're good. Let's see. Let's wait and see. Doing a test here for Banjo Kazooie, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this microphone is working. We will find that out here in a second. Oh, it appears the microphone is working. Nice. Okay, so for everyone that doesn't know, my name is Tony Tornado. I am a YouTuber, Twitch streamer, and I just purchased the Rare Replay for Xbox One, and that's what this is. Banjo-Kazooie, and as you can see, the updated graphics here that make this game just look absolutely beautiful. This is one of my favorite N64 titles. Absolutely love this game. We're going to start it off here. Okay, so apparently I already did this little intro here. So we shall see. There's the first Jiggy right there. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find picture with peace missing. Alright, nice. Well, I already got a Jiggy Wiggy. Let's get Jiggy Wiggy with it. I'm so glad my Xbox mic is working. This was supposed to be just a test, but I think I'm going to play this game as much as I can. I love how clear and crisp the graphics are. Um, big improvement from the N64, obviously. But it's really cool. This is an amazing game. Of course, for everyone that watches this, probably already thinks this is an amazing game. Banjo-Kazooie's awesome, guys. Fill in the missing spaces to a picture. Bottles is rocking in here. That's it. The picture complete. And the door to Mumbo's Mountain is open. I must say, I'm very pleased with the quality of this microphone, too. I bought one of the crappy mics for Xbox. It's like a... It's like a $15 microphone. But I do like it. Wow. Boom. As you know, we got the Jinjos over here. Boom. Pink Jinjo. Done. Mumbo's token. Boom. Now, I'm pretty sure my world record for this game, at least on the N64, I was able to fully 100% complete the first level within about 20 minutes. So I don't know. I gotta learn all these controls. It's a little bit different on the Xbox. It kind of has the same feel as the N64. The controls are similar. So let's see. Doing good collecting these notes. Death, what's up, brother? You said you can hear me perfectly. Nice, man. This is a test. This is a test, by the way. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to upload this to YouTube or not, or just do a separate stream for YouTube. I'm not sure, just chat, t testing out the mic, making sure everything works correctly. But I wanted to have this for Twitch to show people that I can dominate this game. Absolutely flat out dominate it. Boom. I think we got health. Alright, let's go Mr. Monkey, throw it. Boom. I love how amazing they did on this. They did a really good job restoring this game. And I cannot wait to play all the games on Conker's Bad Fur Day. Oh my goodness, you must search for ten of us in each world. That's right. Did it, did it, boom. And I got an achievement! Yeah, look at me go with the achievements. I got me an achievement. Now, they did say something about the 360 achievements versus the, uh... Versus the uh, Xbox One achievement, so I'm not really sure how I can view those, but I will figure that out later. I'm just excited to play this game. Jimpy like Congo's orange. Help fat bear and bird. That's right. Boom. And look at that, another jiggy wiggy. Ba -de -ba -de boom.
absolutely love this game. Love it. Another token. Boom. Mumbo token. And what do you know? Here's bottles for the first move of the level. Boom. Hold the trigger and press Y. Nice. Bottles. Nice. So it's similar feel to N64. Um, not too different. I really wish I had a webcam working on here, but apparently you can only use a Xbox Kinect webcam. I don't know, I have to learn a little bit more about this as I go. But either way, I'm just excited to be streaming this game finally. I've wanted to stream this game in particular for a very long time. Boom. There we go. Come on, monkey. Darn. Come on, ape. That's right. Ugh, bear beat Congo. That's right, domination at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. Got another jiggy wiggy. Three jiggle wiggles. Three jiggy wiggies. So I always keep extra health over here. Boom. Alrighty. Look at me go. Alright, so let's see. I'm getting down. I'm getting the controls pretty well. Let's see the totals. Let's see. Four minutes. I got three and 22 notes. Not bad. Not bad at all. Keep it going. Boom. 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 And look at that, another puzzle piece. Boom. The Jiggy Wiggies. I absolutely love the replay. I do have three copies of Banjo-Kazooie on the N64. I have a copy of Banjo-Tooie. Now I have Banjo Nuts and Bolts. Another token here. Let's go to Mumbo to get the next move right here. Come on, Mumbo, pop out. There we go. The Talon Trot sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold the right trigger, then press the left trigger. Okay, so that's going to be a little bit different than the N64. Let's see. No, that's not it. Okay. Let's see. This is a little. Okay, there we go. All right. That's not too difficult. Not too difficult. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. All these and another Jinjo. Boom. Flat out love the replay, guys. If you have an Xbox One and you do like some fantastic N64 titles and early Xbox 360 titles, I would hard, I would highly, 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 highly recommend getting the rare replay, especially now. I picked up my copy at my local GameStop for twelve dollars. That's it. Absolutely love Banjo Kazooie on here. This is awesome. It's literally crazy how crisp the graphics look. I'm, just, I'm just blown away by that right now. Yes, Death, the bird is a girl, by the way. I didn't see your chat until right now. The bird is indeed a girl. Gotta get used to that trigger, getting, jumping like that. Alrighty, boom, boom. Here comes another move from Bottles. Left trigger to send Kazooie slamming hard down onto the floor. Got it. Get used to this nest girl, you'll be using it a lot. Oh Banjo, there's nothing more I can teach you on this world! Oh man. Well there's the pound move, got that down really good. It's really funny too, because they kind of... Um, 
adjusted the way the camera angles pop up on this too. It's actually an improvement of the N64 as well. Absolutely love this game. It's really good. Boom. Yeah, believe it or not, guys, this actually is a decent improvement. Boom. I have all the Jinjos now for the first level. Another puzzle piece. Jiggy Wiggy. There we go. That's five. Extra life. Another Jiggy Wiggy. Boom. Alright, so I remember this guy here. And when you're doing this, you gotta be really careful because there's a trick for the people who haven't played this game. There is a trick to this. So when it's the last one, you gotta jump on top of this and get that honeycomb. Because if you don't, you will not be able to get that last one going. And look at that, another Jiggy Wiggy. Boom. Seven. Boom. Eight. So I think it's pretty safe to say that I can dominate this game. Um... This is just the first level, keep in mind, but I'm doing it fantastically. I'm very proud. Very proud. I still got it. Still got it, as I can see, easily see. I haven't played this game in quite some time, and I still remember where a lot of everything is. It's really cool. And of course, we are going to go for 100% completion because, come on, guys, it's just boring if you don't do that. It's absolutely boring if you do not do that. It makes it exciting to try to get everything. Now, remember where the other honeycomb was for the life bar? It is, like, right over here somewhere. Ah, I fell. I did see it. I did see it. But look at this. We are... Let's see how far we are into this now. Let's see. Let's see how long we have been. We have been 10 minutes, and we have almost completed this level. I might actually beat my old record. Look at that. Might actually beat my old record. If you guys are enjoying my channel and my stream, please make sure you hit that follow button and turn on notifications. Because we are going to be streaming a lot more on here now that we have a brand new Xbox One in our possession. Absolutely loving this rare replay version of Banjo Kazooie. Absolutely loving it. Oh, I've gotten close to that thing a couple times now. That honeycomb is in probably the this is probably the hardest thing to collect in this level is that extra honeycomb. That extra honeycomb is by far the hardest thing to collect in this first level. But once you get it, really simple. You gotta jump down just right. Oh man, I almost got it again! Oh boy. You ever like play a game and you get like stuck on something and you just can't get unstuck from it? Like that is literally me with this honeycomb right now. You get out of here, you bull ass. Uh, anyway, so let's try to get this now. Let's go right here and make a jump. Boom. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. See what I'm talking about, guys? You see what I'm talking about? Death. Death, dude. I'm gonna get Roblox, man. Don't worry. I told you, I got plenty of games. I got plenty of games to make it through before I get Roblox, but I know you, the hardcore gamer up in here. You, you the hardcore gamer, dog. I know. I know this. Oh my god, I got it! Yes, got that second honeycomb, finally. Okay, good. Got the second honeycomb. Boom. Now we can continue on to the rest of this level. 
I tell you what, this feels really weird not playing this on my N64. It actual, it absolutely feels strange. Oh yeah, I remember this now, so I have to... Once I'm done with Mumbo, I need to go get the other uh, Skull token, which I'm pretty sure is in that ant tower. Got some eggs up here. Boom, 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 boom. Awesome, guys. You speedrun games, Death? I did not know that. Although I guess technically so far in this level, I've also speedrun this game. Because I have done this very quickly. I, I believe it took me about 20 minutes to complete the first level the first time around for me. And I think I may be very close. Let's check the totals again. Yeah, 13 minutes. And we're about to complete this game now. Or this level, I should say. About to complete, 100% complete this first level here in Banjo-Kazooie. Alright, so... There's Mumbo. Come on, brother. I tell you what, if anyone has any information on how the webcam works on... On, uh... Your Xbox One, please let me know because I'm telling you what, I really don't think I'm going to spend $100 on a Xbox Connect. Oh, look at that! Another achievement! Another achievement for me in the game. Transform for the first time from Mumbo. I really feel like this game could have had way more achievements. Like, I don't even think they give you an achievement for getting all the puzzle pieces. All right, there we go. Up Ant Hill, boom, boom, boom. And here's the remainder of the levels notes. Got them, all 100 notes, just like that. Boom, boom. There we go. Alright, and there is the final puzzle piece to the game, ladies and gentlemen. To the level. That's right, Death. Now, I did remember one thing that I do need to do before I leave this level. I need to transform back. I do need to transform back. I need to go step on that switch over there at the end and get the secret um, layer puzzle piece for this level. So I'm going to go run over here. I'm actually very impressed with the quality of this microphone that I got for my Xbox One, ladies and gentlemen. It's just a headset. And it's only a $15 headset I got from GameStop, and it's really nice. I'm very surprised at the quality of this microphone. Alright, so... Boom. And that'll make that puzzle piece appear on top of the world entry. Do, 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 do. Dun, 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 And now we're going to transform back into the ant before we leave so we can actually get it. Boom. Transform back into an ant. All right. Mm. 
Now let's see, once we get out of this level and get that extra puzzle piece, let's see where we are at. Boom. Now we'll view the totals. Look at that. Fully completed in 17 minutes and 30 seconds from Mumbo's Mountain. Absolutely amazing. Awesome. Completed the first level of Banjo-Kazooie in 17 minutes and 30 seconds. Deserve a round of applause for that, ladies and gentlemen. Alrighty. And there we have our first no door. This is a note door sealed by Grunty with one of her powers. Open it up and then jam jars. It's not that simple. To open it, you must collect the musical notes from the worlds. How many do we need? The number on the door is the strength of the spell. A combined total of all your best notes from the world must be at least this to break Grunty's magic. It's a very interesting game here. So now we're walking through our first note door that we cleared. Get this cauldron. You've activated a magical cauldron. Find two of the same color to create a shortcut. I already knew that, obviously. I knew where it was. And there's the second world entry right here. Boom. I believe it, Death. Man, I believe it. And there we go. We have opened up the second level treasure trove cove. Absolutely amazing. I cannot believe I cleared the first level in about 17 minutes. My old record was 20 minutes. That's so actually pretty cool. Alright, so now we're going to go over here and get some extra world stuff. And then we're going to finish off this game. Boom. Right. Open this all up here. If you guys do enjoy my streams, please make sure you hit that follow button. We are loving the Banjo-Kazooie Rare Remake. I love this thing. Absolutely love it on the Xbox One. The Rare Replay, I should say. Rare Replay. The game's awesome. Alright. And after this, we will be going to the second world, Treasure Trove Cove. And 100% complete that level. Why? Because 100%ing the game is awesome, guys. Come on. I can't stand those people that do speed runs and then they don't get everything. You know what I mean? It's like, oh well, you beat the game, but you technically didn't beat the game. You know what I mean? It's one of those things. It's just a preference. I like to complete the thing. That way I can say, you know what? I fully 100% completed this game. I do have this really weird theory, too, for all the viewers in the stream that have uh, heard of all how bad Nintendo's doing in sales uh, for the Switch. I do have this theory since Xbox and Rare have already partnered together for games like Banjo-Kazooie. Um, I do have this theory that over time the Xbox is going to own all the rights to all the original Nintendo games. Just a theory, but it is a possibility. Because I have a feeling that 
if Nintendo ever went under, PlayStation would want absolutely nothing to do with anything Nintendo related. I just have that feeling. And since Xbox has already taken that step, while we're over here, why don't we just open the third world? Bubble Gloop Swamp. Look at that, I had enough puzzle pieces to open the third level for when we go over to the third level. Absolutely amazing. Alrighty. Now we do need to go in here a little bit. Open up this cauldron. I do remember correctly, yes, there is another token there. Boom. I'm pretty sure by the end of this game you end up with a lot of leftover tokens. But, it's always good just to have as many as you can possibly find. And here we go in the Treasure Trove Cove, ladies and gentlemen. Get out, get out, get out. No! Alright, I made it. Yes. Get rid of that crab shooter. Crab shooter! Hey, this Nippers Beach, you find nothing without Nippers' help. Crustacean brain. Oh, snap. Backfire. Another achievement! Knockout Nipper! Boom! Boom! Look at me go! Ba -dee -ba -dee boom! First jiggy of this level. <laughs> yeah, you know what? There's a token back here, if I remember correctly. There it is. Alrighty, boom, 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 boom. Yep, this is the flying one. This is your big chicken legs. Yes. Down the flying disc and press A. 25 feathers to get you started. Nice. Alrighty, get that other token right there. Boom. 
already know what to do for this. Go down here and get the treasure for the bubbling pirate, because he's pooping. Another token. Like I said, there's a ton of these tokens. Just get them all, just for the hell of it. Boom. Puzzle pieces, puzzle pieces, puzzle pieces. Alrighty. I'm gonna bring the pirate these treasure chests, or the, uh, excuse me, the treasure for the treasure chests. We can stop crying like a big old baby. Be treasure, thank you, Mihates. Take this reward. That's right. Better give me that reward, you fat pirate. Awesome. Right now, show me that we have been live on Twitch for only 30 minutes, and I'm already on the second level. Fully completed the first level, and we're on our way to completing the second. Bet you I can complete the second level before an hour. I do think we can. And here's bottles again for the the new heights with the shock jump spring. The turkey does all the work. Simply stand and shock. Boom. Nice. You learned all the code's new moves. Oh, look at look at me go. And another token. I remember one time when I was playing the N64, there was, I think it was the haunted level. But there was, I was missing four notes and it took me forever to try to find notes and I was like oh my god no are you kidding me I spent like hours in that game looking for the notes guys not kidding absolutely crazy but in this one I am collecting all the notes and I'm dominating There's the next Jinjo. I already have three of five of the Jinjos. I do think the camera angles are a little bit Im Im improvement from the N64 version. Boom! Look at that. Ba -da -ba -da boom. I don't know what that was about. Alrighty. Got those notes. And there's one of those... Honeycombs. Gotta get that honeycomb. There's another mumbo token. Like I said, there's a ton of these things. I already back up the set tokens. I'm trying to remember if Mumbo is in this level or not. I'm not quite sure about that. Not quite sure about that one. Don't want to do that one just yet.
Sharks are popping up all over the place, but I'm like, no way, you ain't getting me, dog. Nah. And another jiggy. Boom. I remember Banjo Tooie being like a million times longer than the first one. Because Banjo-Tooie was one of those rare games that literally just came out and it was like, oh my god, everything in this game just takes a ridiculous amount of time for no reason. Nine tokens, boom. Another jiggy. Dip a dip a doo 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 ba doo ba doo doo. That makes ten tokens. Alrighty. If I remember correctly, there is something of value right here. And I was right. Look at me go. Oh, come with me now. I'm gonna take you down. Well, welcome with me now. Alrighty. That is right, bottles. I have the flying abilities down. Six jiggies. Oh shit, it like forced me under. Come on, get up. No death for real, man. Logic. Alrighty. 
Alrighty, let's fly in the sky. So we gotta pretty much pound on all these X's and then fly around the level. Which actually isn't a difficult thing. We're still, remember, we're still in the first couple levels here, ladies and gentlemen. So, not entirely difficult to do. So you pretty much got a pound on these X's. Brings you to. You'll never find me now. Well, you're right over here. <laughs> This is not that hard at all. Pop it open for another puzzle piece. Alright, Death Man. See you next time, brother. Remember this one? Leaky patched up, now empty the water. Boom. Alrighty then. Remember guys, we're going for 100% completion, so it's very important for me to get all the puzzle pieces. And all the notes, all the items, everything. Banjo. Is Ka Zooey, so Z. We at Z. Z. O. O. I. E. Boom. And there's another Jiggy. That puts us at 8 for the level. It's absolutely insane. I completed the first level in about 17 minutes, I believe it said. And we are getting very close to completing this level 100%. And I don't believe we've even been 20 minutes in this level. So it's really cool. All right, so now we're gonna go back over to the fly pad. Try to complete this level in under 20 minutes too. So hit this, get this note here. So we're missing eight notes so far. Now we're going up to the top, where the lighthouse is. There is the final Jinjo of the level. Gamer picture unlocked. Nice achievement there for my 360 achievements. Ninth Jiggy. Alright, so I do believe there's some more notes around here somewhere. Maybe they're up towards the top. Right, 
There they are. There's some notes right there. 92, 95. Absolutely awesome. And there's the witch switch. I like to call it witch switch. There's our next secret jiggy. And there is a flying pad over here somewhere. Actually, there might not be one here. If I remember correctly, you have to fall down further. Yeah, we have to go down here. Which is quite alright, because you had to go that far in order to get those little extra items, so we'll go ahead and fly up this way now. To get to the top of the lighthouse. And that is the tenth jiggy for the level. Boom. And a hundred notes. And the token, and I do believe that is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just double check to make sure on this level. Yep. 100 notes, 10 puzzle pieces in 19 minutes. Now we gotta exit real quick because I don't want to spend no more time in this level. Come on, get out of this level. I did say we were gonna do it another 20 minutes. Can we get out of the level though within the time? Come on, Banjo, run, run, run. Run, Forrest, run. Because technically it is still time until we get back to the switch and get out of this level. Oh, that's a close one. Can we do it? Can we do it? Alright, we got out. Let's see. Alright, so view totals. 17 minutes 30 seconds for the first level. And 19 minutes and 42 seconds for Treasure Trove Cove. Ladies and gentlemen, nice. Awesome job. Beat both. Levels fully completed 100% in less than 20 minutes per level. Freaking awesome. If you know what you're doing and you can really speed run it, you can do really fast times in those levels, I'm telling you. Now we'll get our. What is that? Our third layer puzzle piece? Alright, and ladies and gentlemen, that's where we're going to cut this stream off and we will take it back next time ladies and gentlemen don't forget if you love the broadcast please make sure that you follow in on here with notifications on ladies and gentlemen make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channels and my Instagram page down below my name is Tony Tornado and ladies and gentlemen I love my subscribers